So we are just four days away from the launch of Build a Better Wellness Biz, and uh, there's a lot that I have got to in the past week. I did get a lot done, but there is still a very long list of things to do in these final four days before the launch. So let's get into all of that in this episode of Podcast Launch Diaries. Hey everyone, Jeremy here, and welcome back to the final pre-launch episode of Podcast Launch Diaries. Like I mentioned in the intro, there was a lot that I got done this week, still a lot to do, so let's dive into everything and uh, start out by looking, as usual, at uh, our time tracking here from the past week. And so you can see 16 hours, 16 and a half hours, which is actually a little bit less than some of the previous weeks. I think each of the last two weeks was up over 20 hours um, in each of those. So a little bit less this week, and I think a lot of that was that I didn't have any interviews this week. So those were taking up a lot of time in both prep and doing the interviews uh, in each of those past two weeks and really the whole past month or two. But I didn't have any of those this week, which was uh, a relief <laughs> because there was a lot to get done. And so this allowed me more of that time. And so if we look at uh, some of the big chunks here, creating launch assets. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about this uh, in this episode, what those launch assets were, types of social promo to send to guests, uh, as well as for myself, and then uh, web design as well. So that was creating the podcast page where the, the feed of podcasts will uh, exist on my website, as well as the uh, show notes page for the individual episodes, designing that. So that took a bunch of time there. And then some, some more work on, this was setting up uh, Abel James episode, which is one of the first three episodes that will go live. I'm gonna have two solo episodes and then that one guest episode with Abel. And so uh, that was a couple hours setting everything up online there. Solo episode editing, editing brand guide design. We'll talk about that a little bit more uh, later in this video. Uh, creating a, the teaser video for Abel. So uh, we're gonna talk quite a bit more about this. And that was just a little bit of time that I spent there where a video editor spent much more time. And uh, we'll talk about <laughs> that. Like I mentioned, how much time went into that. Uh, a little bit more setting up the podcast host, transistor.fm, and then a couple other small things. So 16 and a half hours, uh, still a lot of time, and uh, but just not quite as much time as in the past couple weeks. So let's jump over to Asana and look at some of my goals from last week. So setting up the website, uh, this is something that, uh, let's jump over there and have a look at what I, I was able to do. So I think I've showed this before. This is just the home page on the website. And so nothing really has changed here. Uh, I will change some things. I will add the teaser episode down below here so people can easily listen to that. And, uh, and then I'll, I'll continue to build this out. I might have some like the top episodes or, or something like that, or most recent episodes um, on the homepage as well. But uh, that'll be once those actually get released and I have something to actually post there. Then this week, one of the big things that I spent a lot of time on was building out this podcast page. So this is the page where um, the podcast feed will live. So there's a bit of information about the podcast, some copy there, headline, cover art, way to subscribe. This will link to a uh, chartable link uh, that people can choose which player uh, will work best for them. And then here I have the teaser episode. And so I usually like to include the teaser episode in many places uh, on the website as a way for people to get a sense for the show without having to listen to a full, you know, 30, 45, 60 minute or longer episode, because probably if people are unfamiliar with you in the show, they're just not going to do that. So uh, I like to have a, a really easy way for people to, to get a sense of what the show is about. And hopefully uh, with the teaser episode that intrigues them enough to listen to a full episode or click into a, a post, um, a, a show notes post. And then I have uh, places where they can listen and subscribe directly on these uh, different platforms here. So this will be a chartable smart link that will redirect people to you know wherever uh, they wanna listen and that'll be like this one. And then we have Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts, which are, I feel like the big three. Um, I would rather have more simplicity than a bazillion links everywhere. So uh, that's, that's what I have there. And so that's what I spent some time working on uh, when it comes to the podcast page. And then we've got the show notes page, which I also spent a bunch of time designing. And so we've got uh, the cover art for that episode. And then we've got show notes here. The episode will go in here once it is uploaded to Transistor. I still need to make a few tweaks to the, to the audio uh, and put an ad in that episode for one of my lead magnets. So that's gonna happen. And then this uh, episode player will go here. It'll be a similar player to the one on the podcast page. Uh, key takeaways from the episode and then show notes here 
and I've got it broken up with a couple of calls to action. This is to subscribe to my newsletter. This one is for people to uh, record a voice clip. Uh, in each episode, I ask a question that I'd like people to respond to. And so that leads over to my voicemail page, which we'll get to in a second. And then we've got quotes from the episode, uh, what's in this episode, kind of the table of contents almost, uh, links and resources, and, uh, and then a, another call to action to subscribe to the newsletter down here. So that is the show notes page and it looks kind of fancy. Uh, this is a WordPress site using the Divi theme, which I really love. And basically Divi has something called the theme builder where you can set like templates almost for different categories of posts or, or you can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. I'm not a developer, uh, so I kind of muddle my way through it. But basically I can, I've designed this so that, you know, this fancy like transition and the way that the, this cover art shows up with the uh, uh, drop shadow around it and things like that, that's all just preset so that for every podcast show notes post, that's just, it's going to look that way and I can design it once and it's going to show up nicely forever. So that is, is kind of how I have uh, set this up and uh, how it, it didn't take that much work to make it look pretty good. So I'm happy with how everything is coming together here and it did take some time, but I'm excited to be able to share this with people. Uh, and then we've got the voicemail I, me I mentioned before. I think I've talked about this on a previous episode of Podcast Launch Diaries, but basically uh, I, I was initially gonna do it as a question asking thing. Now I'm gonna do it as I'm asking the question and getting people's responses. So I need to change some of this uh, copy on this page, um, but everything else, uh, basically this is uh, a tool called SpeakPipe and people can just click record and then it records. Uh, I don't know if it works on your phone, but um, definitely from your computer just uses your headphones mic or computer mic or fancy mic if you've got one and um, then that gets submitted to my account in SpeakPipe and I get sent an email and can go listen to it and add it to the download it and add it to the episode so that is uh, what's going on there this page could probably use a bit more design but whatever it's not super important all right so did get uh, the website set up there's still a little bit of tweaking to do but for the most part I think uh, we're in good shape there onboard video editor. So uh, I was talking about this last week and I was able to find an onboard a video editor. Uh, I think I'd actually found him last time. He's actually someone who went through Podcast Marketing Academy. So I've got to know him really well over the past four months in that program. And he is a podcaster and video editor. So uh, really, you know, the perfect fit here. And so uh, what uh, I'll show you what the video that we came up with here. And uh, so this is a three, just under three minute video. And this is basically the exact intro that plays on the podcast episode, except it had to be recreated using the video versions instead of the audio. Um, and so I recorded my narrative kind of intro bits. And then we had to go back to the Zoom file and using the transcript identified where all these places were to pull these clips from. And so this is a three minute video and it took over seven hours to create of, uh, of the video editor's time. And uh, we're both hoping that we can get that down under three, preferably even under two. I would love if we could spend an hour and a half and get multiple videos, but we'll see. There's a lot, uh, we've identified a lot of places where we could save time in the future. And of course the first time is, uh, is gonna be the longest. There was the most back and forth, the most revisions, but, um, I'm, I'm really pleased with how this video came out and I'm excited to share it with people uh, and share it with Abel, the guest, and, and have people see it. And hopefully it, uh, it does well and catches people's attention, gets them back to the podcast. If not, oh well, <laughs> it was uh, worth an experiment. So uh, let's, I'll just give you a little bit of a, uh, a play for the first 30 seconds or so, uh, so you can kind of get a sense for what the video looks like. Bad things work better online. A lot of marketing is meant to poke holes in someone, make them feel worse about themselves, make them feel like they're nothing unless they have your product. Welcome to Build a Better Wellness Biz. I'm your host, Jeremy Enns. I don't really know what to do with that except for make fun of it and dance with it a little bit, throw some playfulness into this whole situation because it gets really dark. In this episode, I'm talking with Abel James. So that's uh, kind of the general sense of what the video is and there's clips pulled from throughout the episode so that was where a lot of the time went and is, was like identifying those clips in the transcript. And uh, so I, I think we, that I can do a better job of setting up the transcript so that uh, Ari, the video editor, can actually much more quickly find and pull those clips. Uh, at least that's my hope, but we're gonna keep experimenting with that and seeing how that goes. So uh, I'll keep you posted on, uh, on how this uh, kind of video process works. And like I mentioned in the past, I would not necessarily recommend everybody 
you know, every podcaster go out and hire a video editor. And, and part of that was, or part of me hiring a video editor was trying it out and seeing like, is this something that's feasible for people? What's the cost going to be on this? Like, how long does it take to create this? Should podcasters be spending like this much time creating micro video content or should they be hiring someone? Um, or is it just, you know, way more time and or money than it's worth? And um, so I'm not going to make any decisions based on one video, which of course took the longest, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, I'll, I'll let you know if I think it's working really well and if it might be something to, to be worth exploring or if it's really not. And uh, the other part of it was also figuring out like, how can we offer this as a service to our clients? And so that I think is much more likely because our clients do have, uh, obviously they're already hiring us to produce the podcasts. And so uh, it's possible that we would be able to, if we can get a, a cost efficient system for creating these videos as well, that that's a, a really enticing add on to many of the people that we're already working with. So that's kind of how things are going with uh, the, the video editor. And one of the other things that um, it came with that. I think I mentioned this last week was uh, creating this brand guidelines um, page on the website basically. And so if you are outsourcing any design type stuff, I would highly recommend creating something really simple like this uh, to help whatever that person is use your brand effectively and make sure things look good. And so basically all mine is right now is the brand colors right there and the hex codes for them. And I'm probably going to add uh, some other um, like RGB codes and stuff like that as well. So that uh, if you're using different softwares or whatever, it might be uh, that it's easy to find those as well. And then the typography. And so I've got the, the font and the usage here. And so a lot of brand guidelines would have uh, logo information, which I will probably add to this at some point. A lot would have like brand voice of like how to write as the brand that I probably won't add for a long time, if ever but uh, and a number of other things can often be included in the brand guidelines, photography, uh, things like that. But this is a good start. And I think that uh, for most people, colors and fonts, if you can get those clear on what those are, you are often running in and can make most things look good. So um, getting clear on that is a good place to start. And uh, like I mentioned, I sent that over to the video editor. That's why I created it initially and uh, it seemed to work really well. So onboarding the video editor was done. Repurposing content for initial episodes. So this, let's jump over into Photoshop here. And so basically this uh, here, I created all of these graphics for uh, you, all the guests to help promote the, uh, the podcast launch. And so this is actually, I wasn't in, this wasn't the reason I batched so many episodes, but I realized this week that it's a really nice side effect. And I've already done 17 interviews. And so a lot of those people's episodes aren't going to go live for weeks or even months till I think through the end of December or into January right now, we're in uh, start of September. And uh, so we have months of content already recorded. Uh, and so, you know, a lot of those people probably aren't going to promote it maybe not at all, um, or if they are probably not until their episode, but you know, at least this, at this way, some of those people, even if their shows aren't going live for months have said like, yeah, let me know when the podcast launches, I'll send it out to my list. I'll share it on social, uh, you know, I'll support it however I can. And so basically what I did, I created a few cover graphics. So these are just general podcast promotion, uh, graphics here in three different sizes. And then for each person, who I've interviewed, so all 17, uh, I pulled one quote from their episode. And actually this is only 16 here because uh, of Abel, his show is launching with the with the launch of the podcast and we'll, we'll get to that in a second. So he has other graphics. Uh, so basically I, I took one quote from each person and created it in two different sizes, square and story. And basically uh, what I did with these quotes is I themed them all around what building better is to them. And so because it's the, the launch of the show, build a better wellness biz, it's all about building better. I wanted all the quotes to be around that theme. And so that is a question that I ask uh, every guest is, you know, what does building better mean to you? And so I, I took those quotes and used them in all these graphics instead of quotes related to whatever their specific episode is about. So that's how I, I kind of thought about this. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how these look and I'm hoping that, you know, probably not everybody's going to share about it for the launch, but you know, if a handful of people do, that's definitely going to help. And um, I've already heard back from a few people who said, yep, got it scheduled in my, my uh, social scheduling app. So uh, that's, that's really good. Uh, I mentioned Abel as well. He's got different graphics. And so I think I had to start on these last week, but these are all finished now. And so I've got just the, the title graphic in three different sizes. And then I've got uh, these 
kind of photo graphics in three different sizes. And then I've got three different quotes in two different sizes. <laughs> and so uh, these are gonna be the kind of standard graphics that I create for every episode. And I might expand on that uh, in the future with more like, you know, I might do LinkedIn or Twitter or things like that uh, if those are, if I'm finding that those are, are useful to me and or the guests. So that's kind of uh, where things are at with the, the design side of things there. All right, so that is done. Finished the lead magnet mini course. This is just an ongoing saga here. So uh, if you remember, the story was that I had a uh, existing mini course that was made for mobile dimensions. So it was vertical. And so really I just needed to repurpose it or change the slides to make it landscape, normal video viewing mode. Uh, I started doing that this week and then I realized I think I just need to re-record this whole thing. And the reason is actually not to do with the formatting of it, it's that and in just a few places I speak, it, it, it was initially created for podcasters, for a podcasting audience. And my new audience that I'm growing with this podcast is, they're not podcasters, they're wellness business owners. And so a bunch of places I talk, I refer to things as if I'm speaking to podcasters, which in the initial video I am. And I was realizing that's just a disconnect that feels a little like not intentional. And so I, I think it's basically a 40 minute course. So I think I can record it, re-record it in about an hour. So I think this weekend I'm just gonna blast through that, re-record it with new branding and everything and make sure that it's actually like really good because this is the first lead magnet that I'm offering this audience. And so I want it to be on brand and professional. So that is is not done. I'm gonna do that this weekend before the launch. Um, it's a bit unfortunate since it like was kind of finished, um, but whatever, it is what it is and then send promo info to initial guests. So yes, I have done that. I've sent out all the graphics and everything to the guests. I've also sent out a bunch of swipe copy. And so I've basically just created five different captions here of just things that they can, you know, copy paste and use in their promotion of the episode. So when they're sharing the graphics or anything like that, and they're somewhat generic because they are across, they're meant for 17 different people. So they're not super focused, but I figured that, you know, it's better than nothing and uh, this is, Hopefully we'll get them started. At least they can tweak these or, or whatever. But um, that is there for them. I also included then the te quote graphics, text graphics that we talked about in the Photoshop file there, and then the teaser audiogram. And so I created that in Headliner here. Um, and so basically it's just got um, the, the waveform and the transcript underneath with the podcast cover art. And so that is the full teaser episode, the full uh, three and a half minute teaser episode here. So um, that's uh, a little bit of stuff that I've sent them and yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully people share it. It sounds like some will and hopefully it gains uh, some traction, but if not, oh well. This is the, the first step at the launch. It's not uh, the end, be all end all. All right, and I have not scheduled launch promo, but that is coming up this weekend. I'm gonna be sharing all that stuff or scheduling all that stuff that I just showed that I created. So let's look at goals for this coming four days. <laughs> Since it's not the coming week, it's the next four days before launch. So uh, I want to set up and proof the show notes. So I have a couple set up, but I need to finish those, get the other episodes set up and uh, just make sure that everything's looking good before launch. Check all the links, make sure that everything works. Um, check it on mobile, make sure it looks good there. Uh, I need to edit the next guest episode and record the next solo episode. I'm uh, again, I know I had a recent episode where I was like, realizing I would be a bad client. And uh, again, I'm getting into this point where I have so many episodes recorded, but I'm behind on editing. And so I need to make sure that I get these episodes edited, these next two for not next week, but the week after, so that my show notes writer and the video editor can do their work on it and make sure that then I have enough time to get everything set up online, get the, the information to the guests. So really I need to put my head down and do edit through probably the next like four or five episodes so that I can uh, get everything done earlier, send all the information to the guests earlier, which will help give them time to schedule it into their scheduling apps and all those types of things, which will make it more likely that they share it. So um, everything works better when you're further ahead. And uh, it, it it happens almost every time with the launch where you fall behind um, because you're so focused on the launch that everything afterwards, you kind of lose track of it and you forget like, oh yeah, this isn't, this isn't the end. This is just the start. So it's, uh, I gotta buckle down a little bit on that and, uh, and bang out some of those edits. And it is actually great that I do not have a lot of interviews over the next month. Uh, I've batched, like I said, enough to go into January already. So um, 
yeah, that, that's, and I don't have a lot scheduled now. I think I have only maybe two in all of September and maybe one or two in October. And I'm hoping to book more of those. And I have done some outreach, but uh, it's not gonna be like it has been for these the past month where it's been like three episodes a week that I've been interviewing people or, or recording. So that's gonna open up a lot more time to actually get to those edits. Um, okay, so setting up that uh, re-recording re and setting up that land, uh, lead magnet mini course. I'm gonna set up a landing page for, for that one, that mini course, as well as another lead magnet, which is uh, kind of an expansion on one of the episodes that I've done already, one of the solo episodes. That I might do a workshop around that, but whatever I'm gonna do, it's either gonna be like a kind of pre-recorded thing or a workshop, but I, uh, I do need to set up a landing page because I mention it in the episode. And so I'll set that up and then, you know, in a month from now, whenever I run that workshop or whatever it is, then I'll send out people who signed up for that, um, that, hey, we're doing this now. Um, this is when it's gonna be, so on and so forth. I wanna create a walkthrough for the contest that I'm running. So basically I'm gonna do a raffle where everybody who subscribes and uh, sends a screenshot of their rating and review will be entered in a raffle to win a, um, basically my podcast guesting course on how to use podcast guesting to really quickly and really effectively grow your audience. And podcast guesting is one of the best ways that I found to uh, consistently grow your audience. And so I have a, a course on that. Usually it's a $300 course, but I'm gonna be giving that away to one person. It's gonna be raffled off um, out of the people who subscribed, rated, reviewed uh, on that initial kind of launch window. And so I need to create a walkthrough and landing page for that, like how exactly to do that? What are the, what are the steps to enter and be eligible uh, for the prize? I also want to create a how to subscribe page. And so basically just having steps for like anyone who's confused about how to subscribe to a podcast, here's exactly how to do it. And probably a video walkthrough as well there. I mentioned before scheduling the launch promo and polishing off uh, the launch episodes. I mentioned that there's an ad for one of the lead magnets that I need to add to one episode and just kind of checking over everything one more time, making sure it's all good to go. So yeah, I, I, that is it. This is, uh, it's gonna be a, a full kind of four days coming up. It is a Labor Day long weekend this weekend. It's Friday as I'm recording this. Um, I was hoping to take the weekend off, but uh, I think I'm gonna be, be spending some time working on this, making sure everything's good to go for the launch on Tuesday. Uh, I don't know if I would have scheduled it for to the Tuesday after a holiday Monday if I had thought of that at the time, but I'm not gonna push it back again. Everything is pretty much good to go. It's kind of funny as I've been like getting close to the end of this. Uh, this is episode 11, I believe, of Podcast Launch Diaries. And usually I tell all of our clients like, give yourself three months. So that, I think that's usually like 13 weeks or so. And here I'm feeling like after 11 weeks, I'm like, ah, I could really use another one to two weeks just to finish off everything and feel a little less stressed about it. But I guess I should have taken my own advice from the start. And, uh, yeah, it seems three months, that feels about right. And, and you can see, obviously I did a lot of batching interviews up front, so it doesn't need to take that long. I, I definitely probably could have done fewer interviews and launched much more easily earlier, but oh well, it is what it is. I would rather have all of these episodes in the can and not need to worry about that for a few months about getting more guests, um, even though I want to continue reaching out to guests and, and doing interviews, but at least not in that kind of like really heavily, heavy, heavily batched kind of uh, style that I have done to this point. So um, I think that is it for, for this week. That is the updates. That's what I need to do over the next four days. Um, if you have questions, comments, anything like that, please either uh, post them in the comments below this video and I'll be sure to address those in an upcoming episode or come over to uh, my Facebook group, Cut the Bullshit Podcasting and come hang out there. Uh, we just started doing live Q and A's on Thursdays. We used to do these way back years ago and I've just restarted those. I had so much fun doing them every week in Podcast Marketing Academy uh, with everybody who is going through the, that for the past four months that now I'm almost like missing it. So we're gonna do live Q and A's in uh, the Facebook group every Thursday is the plan right now. We had our first one last night and uh, had a lot of fun uh, going over an hour just talking, uh, taking questions and talking about all things podcasting. So um, leave your questions here in this video or come on over to Cut the Bullshit Podcasting and hang out there. And I'd love to, to hang out more and get to know you a little bit better. All right, I think that's it for me. I'm gonna try and bust through as much of this list as I can this morning and then hopefully take the afternoon off and go surfing. So uh, yeah, that's it for me and uh, I'm gonna get to work and I'll see you next week. Bye.